Yeah. Bring On Success Publications presents the Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook by Jim Clouck. This audiobook is narrated by the author, Jim Clouck. The Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook. How podcasts build traffic through content and credibility for today's home service professional. In a world where home service companies get lost in a sea of advertising and marketing options, the Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook offers simple methods to get your service company to stand out online through credibility, third-party endorsements, and relevant audio content. Preface For most of my life, I've had a love affair with arguably the best medium ever, radio. As a young boy, I would pretend to be a radio broadcaster using my Radio Shack walkie-talkies. One as a radio transmitter and the other as a receiver. In high school, I took an elective class in the basics of radio. I built my first AM radio receiver with just nine electronic parts. In college, I was a DJ and ran the campus radio station in the position of general manager. At an early age, I was exposed to radio and had a fascination with it. This book isn't so much about me and my history, but rather what I've learned over the decades in the direct response radio industry. I've written this playbook to be read within an hour, evening, or a plane ride, and arrange the content for easy digestion. The Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook is written in short, concise chapters, allowing you, the reader, to quickly digest the information most important to you as a marketer of your business. I've written this book as a reference guide on how to get the most exposure online with credibility, SEO, and catalog podcasts for your clients to learn more about your business. I suggest highlighting sections, dog ear pages, and reread chapters of interest multiple times. The Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook is for the individual who wants to have their company's products or services stand apart from the pack. Also, to use a winning formula to give the credibility your company needs to stand out in the busy world of digital marketing. Don't get lost in a sea of advertising and marketing options. Learn how to use a podcast to build your brand, reputation, and build credibility. Enjoy the book. Chapter 1. Winning Companies. Quote, I'm not in the business of helping losers win. I'm in the business of helping winners win more. Dan Locke, Entrepreneur. This is just something that must be said. If you don't believe you're a winner, then you must be a loser. This could be the case. Henry Ford's famous quote, If you think you can or can't, you are right. This is so true. It's obvious to me that your state of mind will lead you to your destination. If you are positive, you will win. If you go into all new opportunities with the thought it might fail... It probably will. The quote above by Chinese immigrant and entrepreneur Dan Locke says it all. I'm not in the business of helping losers win. I'm in the business of helping winners win more. This is brutal, but very fair. Once I made this a mantra of mine, I've been able to assist winning home service professionals win more. I bring this up because I love to help others win. I really love to help winners win more. So why don't I help others who aren't winning? Well, I do, just not with a podcast campaign. Podcasting is for big boys and girls. One must commit to consistently being heard week after week or even day after day on the Internet. This takes a commitment to win the marathon as you aren't running a sprint. Here's the good news. Most home service companies can afford a weekly podcast program, which will drive new customers to your doorstep. The demographic that is reached through podcasts are ideal. This group owns their own home, they're educated, often empty-nested, and have the funds required to make the home improvements required. As a home service professional, I'm sure you'll agree this is a fantastic target demographic for most products and services such as HVAC, plumbing, water softeners, roofing, attic insulation, and similar essential items for the home. Now that we have qualified you as a candidate for podcasting, we can now move on to the beauty of how this system will predictably get you the customer you want. Chapter 2. Be a Podcast Rock Star It's like being an international rock star. Hello, Cleveland. It's a great day in Tampa. 
How's everybody doing in Phoenix today? Dallas, Fort Worth, love y'all. What's up, H-Town? Who doesn't want to be a rock star? The attention, the fame, and the fans. Well, I'm sure you're advertising in all the right places. Digital, television, print, referral marketing, and such are all great ways to bring new customers to your home service business. But what if you had your own podcast platform? A unique podcast platform profiling the owner, the team members, the culture, the products, the services, and the differences between you and your competitors. This would be uniquely yours. Your custom podcast program would complement your other advertising, marketing, and promotional efforts. When I produce a unique podcast site under the CheckaPro brand for clients, I remind them to tell their prospects and customers that they've been featured on the national radio program, the CheckaPro Radio Show. People are always impressed with the fact that a local home service provider has been featured on a national radio program. I know what you're thinking. What do I, as a contractor, know about producing and airing a podcast? Most likely not much, actually. I get it. However, everything is handled by me and my team at CheckaPro. As you read this book, you'll see how easy it is to have your own custom podcast platform, which profiles your business in a positive light. I detail what you need to get started and how to put an effective promotional podcast program together step by step. In short, the goal of a custom podcast site is to gain credibility, inform your customers and prospects, and receive the benefits of digital marketing. Chapter 3. The Credibility Factor. Sure, you operate a credible company. Aren't we all operating a credible company? It's like asking the question, are you trustworthy? Well, of course. Well, just because we believe it doesn't mean our customers do. What really makes your company credible? Oh, yes, reviews. Who can say no to 457 five-star Google reviews? Well, that is very nice, but a lot of other home service professionals, or what some might consider the competition, also have five-star reviews to boast about. So what sets you apart from the other plumbing HVAC, remodeling, garage door repair, or any other home service company. You see, most contractors all do the same thing in terms of marketing. Google local service ads, SEO, networking, vehicle graphics, radio, television, billboards, and the like. Who do you know that has their own podcast site with podcast episodes disguised as helpful hints from the owner of the company? Who has Alexa? Apple Podcasts, Audible, iHeart, Google Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, Pandora, YouTube, and many others working for them 24-7. Trust me, I invented this concept, and none of your competitors have even thought about doing this. With a lineup of podcast episodes, not only on your custom podcast site, but also on the aforementioned Giants, this is a no-brainer. My podcast clients love to differentiate themselves from the so-called competition. This is so easy. The system we created at CheckaPro is simple for home service providers to plug into. It is designed for individuals who have no prior knowledge or experience in the podcasting arena. After you've received ample accolades through the customary Google review process, it's time to turn up the volume with a credible podcast platform. Seriously, does your competition have a custom podcast site? Are the giants like Audible and Spotify talking about them? When I ask if your competition has a podcast of their own, I'm not talking about XYZ Plumbing Company being asked to speak on the latest freeze and how it affected the pipes on someone else's podcast. I mean, have they spent the resources to build their own podcast platform? Of course, not everyone knows how to build their own podcast platform. Don't worry, we cover that a little later on. (laughs) Chapter 4. The Influence of Podcast Giants. SEO. We have all heard how an influencer can help our businesses. Who can we hire to be an influential spokesperson? Maybe a Kardashian, Tom Brady, or William Shatner? Okay, let's make this simple and easy. When we build podcast sites for our clients, 
we embed backlinks in all associated podcasts, which link back to our client's main website. So here's how it works. When we produce a new podcast for our client's custom site, we include keywords and add backlinks to all the podcast giants. Do you see it now? The podcast giants, Alexa, Apple Podcasts, Audible, iHeart, Google Podcasts, Spotify, TuneIn, Pandora, and YouTube are your influencers. These influencers work tirelessly, day and night, 24-7, working to bring your podcast to the forefront. These giants in the industry bring both credibility and backlink power to your podcast site. So what is a backlink? Simply, a backlink is a link created when one website links to another. Backlinks are also called inbound links or incoming links. Backlinks are important to SEO. So why are backlinks so important? Backlinks are especially valuable for SEO because they represent a vote of confidence from one site to another. In essence, backlinks to your website are a signal to search engines that others vouch for your content. If many sites link to the same web page or website, search engines can infer that content is worth linking to and therefore also worth surfacing on an SERP. SERP stands for Search Engine Results Page. So getting these backlinks can have a positive effect on a site's ranking position or search visibility. A backlink is essentially the lifeblood of a business website. They're important because Google counts them in its algorithm when determining where to place a website in SERPs, search engine result pages. The number of high-quality backlinks affects your site ranking. Backlinks also build brand authority. The more backlinks you have, the more authoritative you appear in your field. You can then use this credibility to grow your business as people are more likely to trust a site that has been vouched for by others, especially top-ranking podcast sites such as Apple Podcasts and Spotify. <laughs> Chapter 5. The Podcast Library one of the most exciting aspects of having your own custom podcast is the fact that you have a podcast library. This podcast library allows you to have a collection of helpful tips and information for your customers and prospects. For instance, if you are an HVAC service provider, you could have the following podcast in your podcast library. Number one, the importance of changing your filters every month. Number two, what does SEER stand for? Number three, how your AC system takes the heat out of the air through the use of coils. Number four, the advantage of using a smart thermostat. Number five, why it's important to maintain and clean your HVAC system twice per year. The length of your podcast could be five minutes or an hour. We have found that a podcast between 5 to 10 minutes works best as most people have a short attention span and won't listen much longer than that. What's important to understand is that you are building a library of information that can be accessed by anyone at any time. When prospective customers are searching for your services, they will find your company much more credible than the other guys. In a bid situation, you can refer your prospective customer to the episode or episodes from your podcast site that pertain to the job in question. For instance, let's say you have a prospect who's interested in getting a new roof, and they have no idea of the process to get a new roof installed. Well, the podcast on what we do at Acme Roofing when it's time for a new roof, a step-by-step -step explanation for homeowners, is a perfect podcast for this prospect. <laughs> Chapter 6. Online Relevancy Online relevance? What does this mean? Well, if you look it up, it means a lot of different things. To me, it means, what does the general population see when they view your company online? Everyone wants to do business with a company that is reputable and relevant. How do you get a good reputation? Maybe it's more Google reviews. Maybe it's testimonials from happy homeowners on your website. Maybe it's an A rating with the Better Business Bureau. I ask my clients, 
What is seen when someone does a Google search for your company? Hopefully your company's website is at the top of the first page. I actually saw an organic search result pop up on page one of Google for the competition when I searched for a garage door company. This is unacceptable. All organic results which appear in the search for your company should be about you and your company. When a podcast result appears on Google, referencing your company, and originates from platforms such as Alexa, Apple Podcasts, Audible, and iHeartRadio, you know you're in a good place. So go online now and type in your company name into the Google search bar. You know your customers and prospects will. What do you see? If all is working well, you should see your company at the top of the first page. Here's a hint. Use a URL or website address with your name in it. So, for instance, if your company is Acme Doors, Windows, and more, don't use a URL such as acmereno.com. I know that you don't want a long website address. However, I suggest a relevant name. In this case, maybe acmewindows.com. When we build podcast sites for clients at Checker Pro, we always use very literal website addresses, as Google is literal. Google will always search for exactly what you put into the search bar. For instance, we use URLs like Eco Garage Door Repair Service Austin, Texas Radio Show.com. When a homeowner types in Eco Garage Doors in Google search bar, not only does their main site show up at the top of Google, but results from their podcast site, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, Audible, Spotify, and more also show up on the first page of a Google search. Now that's being relevant and therefore more credible and reputable. <laughs> Chapter 7. The Third Party Endorsement We all think we're the best at what we do. We hear this all the time from business owners. Not to brag, but most other HVAC companies can't compare to our services. Is it true? It may well be true. Even if it is accurate, nobody wants to hear from the person who claims to be so great. Let someone else brag about you. You do it all day long with reviews from Yelp and Google. Why not try something that most others haven't even considered? Ah, yes, the third-party endorsement. This is a beautiful thing. Did you know that people really buy into this? Have you heard of Kylie Jenner? Yes, Kylie is the daughter of Bruce Jenner and Kris Jenner. Kylie's a billionaire. Yes, with a B. Not millionaire, but billionaire, and has achieved this by a young 21 years of age by hawking goods and services to people around the world. Kylie's a trusted voice and personality who endorses the products she showcases. So who's your Kylie? Over the years, I've worked with the likes of Dave Ramsey and other national personalities to endorse and promote my business. This truly makes a huge difference in terms of credibility. My clients generally put the third-party endorsement toward the top of the reason list as to why their podcast campaign is so effective. Okay, who's your Kylie? Dave Ramsey or? My clients use me, Jim Clouck, a.k.a. Checker Pro Joe, as their third-party endorsement. A well-established company which has been vetting contractors since 2005, Checker Pro pre-qualifies all its contractor clients, including a check of proper insurance, while at the same time places its clients on a pedestal and offers a strong endorsement. On the podcast, I refer to myself as Checker Pro Joe. And it goes something like this. Check a Pro Joe here with my friend Billy Jones from Acme Garage Door Service in Cleveland, Ohio. On the program today, Billy is going to explain the importance of regular garage door maintenance. Remember, have someone else tell everyone else how great you are. <laughs> Chapter 8. The DIY Kind of Guy. We all have stories of the DIY guy. He says, I can repair my own garage door, or I'll do my own plumbing. This rarely works out well for most. This is something that occurs in all industries. 
We are all better off if we just keep to our core competencies and let the experts do their jobs. Having worked with home service professionals for 20 years, I know how frustrating it is to hear that a homeowner doesn't want to pay your fee and they will do it themselves. Believe it or not, this happens in my business as well. Everyone seems to be an expert at everything. Really. Come on, stick to what you do best, and I will as well. And if you want some tips and advice, I'm always willing to hop on a call and help you out with your project. Remember what I had mentioned earlier in the last chapter? A third-party endorsement is better than you telling the listener how great you are? Too often, we want to toot our own horn. This may seem fine, but does not come off well in a radio or podcast format. I've been using radio and podcasts to promote my business for years. I'm very careful not to boast about myself. However, I've had national radio personalities such as Dave Ramsey, Dennis Prager, and Sebastian Gorka endorse me and my company. This makes my brand even more credible. I have a CPA and other professionals to assist me in my business. You've heard the famous quote, A lawyer who represents himself has a fool for a client. The moral of the story is to have others boast and brag about you. It's fine to be a guest on someone else's show, but don't be your own guest. It never works. <laughs> Chapter 9. Stand out from the pack. Competition is for sissies. Grant Cardone, entrepreneur and author. Grant Cardone is an entrepreneur and businessman and he can be harsh. However, I totally agree with him when he says, competition is for sissies. So what does Grant mean by competition is for sissies? Well, why are you competing so hard? Why are you doing what everyone else is doing? My competition's doing billboards, so I'll do billboards. Other providers in my space are buying local TV spots, so I'll buy some TV as well. Have some imagination, pal. Yes, let's include all the necessary advertising, marketing, and promotion like Google, vehicle wraps, and the like. But let's think outside the box a bit. Let's be different from the competition. We don't want to be the same as all the others in our space. Since I quit my job and left the corporate world in 2003, I've created companies that were totally unique I never had direct competition for what I did. This allowed me to sell easily and charge a rate that could not be compared. There are so many ways to stand out from the pack. Having your own podcast platform is one of them. Imagine that you are in a bid situation. You are one of three contractors the homeowner is considering. Is it price? I hope not. Even though price is often the factor in a purchasing decision, it isn't everything to be considered. Most buyers will purchase on value and not just price. How valuable would it be to have a custom podcast site that you could refer to while in the bidding process? How does this work, you may ask? Well, with the podcast library you have built, you can copy and paste a link to a podcast which is relevant to the job you're bidding on. So let's say you're a roofer and you're bidding on a roof replacement. The owner of the home wants the best job at the lowest price. So you tell them about your warranty, how many years you've been doing roofs, testimonials, pictures, you know, everything. But is it everything? Did you tell them that you've been featured on the national Checka Pro radio show and that you discuss just this type of project on the program? This is where the third-party endorsement comes in. It goes something like this. Mr. Smith, I know how important it is to get the job done by a reputable roofer. As I explained, we are reputable and experienced here in any town USA. Just three weeks ago, I was interviewed by Checka Pro Joe on his National Home Improvement Radio Show. Let me text or email the segment from our podcast site. We discussed a roof job just like yours on the show. Well, that should make a difference. Oh, and by the way, it does. Hopefully this audiobook has given you some ideas on what needs to be put into a successful podcast platform. 
I know how exciting it is to launch a promotional program which is unique and helps you stand apart from your competition. Remember what Grant Cardone says, competition is for sissies. Think differently and get original. I'm here to answer all your questions regarding your new custom podcast platform and will help guide you every step of the way. Live your dream. Jim Clouk, the Radio Pitchman. About the author. Jim Clouk is a radio fanatic. At an early age, Jim was fascinated with radio and its unique ability to engage the listener while in the car, living room, kitchen, garage, garden, or just about anywhere. He is known as the radio pitchman, the guy who makes the phone ring for his clients. Jim is the author of two other books, Meet Checker Pro Joe and The Radio Pitchman. His education includes a BSBA from the University of Hartford with a major in marketing and a minor in communication. Jim would tell you that his experience at WSAM, the university's student-run radio station, was the greatest benefit while attending college. Jim is the founder and president of CheckaPro, a referral-based marketing company based in Houston, Texas. He has spent his career helping small businesses grow through the magic of radio and podcasting. Jim has been married to his wife, Robin, for 24 years, and they have two wonderful children, Jimmy and Ashley. To reach Jim... You can send an email to jim at the radio pitchman.com. You can also call the Checker Pro offices, 281 398 PROS, 281 398 7767. Thank you for listening to this audiobook, The Radio Pitchman's Podcast Playbook, a Bring On Success publication. Yeah.